Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Ajma'een amma ba'd Fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim As salatu wa salamu alayka Ya Rasulullah As salatu wa salamu alayka Ya Habibullah As salatu wa salamu alayka Ya Nabiyallah wa ala alika Wa ashabika Ya Nurullah Thumma alhamdulillah, indeed it is only through the blessings and mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we send peace and blessings upon his beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. It is through the infinite mercy of Allah azza wa jalla that once again today Madani Channel presents to you this beautiful and amazing program called The Early Echo. Let us inshallah azza wa jalla make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the early parts of the morning as this should be the habit of every Muslim that when we open our eyes, we should begin by praising Allah Azza wa Jal, by worshipping Him, by reciting durood and salat ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Me so jaun ya Mustafa kehte kehte, khule aankh salli ala kehte kehte. In fact, in a beautiful hadith, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama has stated, the person who recites durood upon me 500 times a day, will never be a destitute. Allahu Akbar. He would never become a destitute. He would be saved from poverty. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make it such that we may be captivated in the love of the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instead of the love of this world. Dear viewers of Madini Channel, let us inshallah Azza wa Jal make the zikr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as today we are going to be discussing a parable from the Holy Quran Ipaq and we always mention a parable, a story from the Quran and in today's program we are going to be discussing the beautiful story of Hazrat Sayyidina Uzair ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu wa salam, a Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jalla and the trials and tribulations that he alayhi salam had endured. Allahu Akbar. Please stay with us inshallah Azza wa Jal. Let us for now enlighten our hearts with the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal as this is the source of life. It is the reason to attain contentment and tranquility within your heart, dear viewers, Allahu Akbar. As Allah Azza wa Jalla has stated in the Holy Quran, Ipaq, Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma innul qulub. Subhanallah. So if one is looking for happiness, one is looking for tranquility and contentment, it is never found in the luxuries of this world. It is not found in this dunya, in the comfort of this world. Rather, it is only in the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. If you will make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your day will be spent in such a pleasant way that you will enjoy your day, dear viewers. Whatever anxiety, whatever stress and worries you may have, through the blessings of the names of Allah Azza wa Jalla, one may attain peace through these names and one may attain salvation from the difficulties and from the challenges that he may be facing. So let's inshallah Azza wa Jalla together Make the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Recite the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illallah La حسبي ربي جل جل ما في قلبي غير الله حسبي ربي جل جل ما في قلبي غير الله 
after making the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembering him of course your day could only be pleasant if you have began your day and commence with your day in the name of Allah azza wa jal in whatever work you do whether it is eating food whether it is picking up something leaving something using something sitting in your car starting your vehicle entering your home wherever or any permissible act that you perform and do dear viewers of Adini channel one should commence the name of Allah Azza wa Jal so always form this habit Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam Salatan wa salaman alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah wa sallam alayka ya Sayyidi ya Nabi Allah dear viewers of Adini channel sit back relax and watch this beautiful kalam that we will be listening to حشر میں خود کو جو پاؤں انشاءاللہ زبجاللہ a very nice kalam that explains the day of judgment the day of reckoning and every one of us will be made to stand in the court of Allah Azzawajalla and we are going to be answerable in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that specific difficult horrifying day dear viewers all we need is the shafa'at of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallama we need the mercy of Allah Azzawajalla Allahu Akbar so just imagine yourself there and watch this kalam inshallah listen to it and inshallah when we do return we are going to continue with our discussion and that is Hadrat Sayyidina Uzira ala Nabiyyina wa alihi salatu wa salam please stay tuned with Madani channel Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hashr me khud ko jo de गाबिखर जाऊंगा आपने गर नाम संभाला तो किधर जाऊंगा आपने مجھکو قدموں سے کیا دور تو مر جاؤں گا مجھکو قدموں سے Bunny cut it.
तेरे कद में बिखर जाऊंगा खाक बन कर तेरे कद में बिखर दर पंज तन से जुड़ी बेखतर हो के लहद में मैं उतर जाऊंगा बेखतर हो के मेरी बख्शीश का नात पढ़ते हुए मैं पुल से गुजर जाऊंगा नात पढ़ते गुजर जाऊंगा इससे बढ़ कर नहीं एजाज कोई और लोग तेरा ही कहेंगे मैं जिधर जाऊंगा लोग तेरा ही कहेंगे मैं जिधर शिर में खुद को जो देखू गबिखर जा अपने गर नाम संभाला तो किधर जा Subhan Allah Subhan Allah the of viewers of Madani channel Allahu Akbar what a beautiful kalam what is the state of the ummati who find himself on the point of hashr Allahu Akbar what can be said about such a person who will be given his book of life in his hand and he will be set to read and then every person will be made to read his own book of life the of viewers of Madani channel is hashr which have been mentioned in the holy quran in past several times with various names over and again over and again 
at various places Allah has described the Day of Judgment. And the signs are so, so visible. All these signs of the Day of Judgment are being opened day by day and we are getting closer and closer and closer every single day. We, we pray in the court of Allah that we may be attain the shafa'at of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Amiri channel, if you open the books of Ahadith, you would learn there are so many actions a person could do to receive the intercession of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that can be determined if we are actually practical. Are we practical? Kya hum wo cheeze karte hain? Are we doing those actions and performing those deeds would, would earn us the intercession of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through the mercy of Allah azza wa jal? Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in one hadith had stated the person who recites dua after the adhan will attain my intercession on the day of judgment. Subhanallah. How many of us have the opportunity to hear and listen to the adhan but we still talk and communicate while the adhan is going? And furthermore, dear viewers of Sahih Channel, we don't even give the fly to the adhan nor do we recite the dua after the adhan. Form the habit whenever you listen to the adhan Repeat whatever the Mu'addin says and thereafter make the dua. Inshallah, Zawajallah, you will see the blessings. There is a booklet of Da'wat Islami composed uh, on this subject. It is written on the subject in regards to blessings of Adhan and you would learn for each letter in the Adhan, Allah Azza wa Jalla, for each word would give you a hundred thousand sawab and reward. Allah. Furthermore, dear viewers of the Madinah channel, so many people will attain the shafa'at of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shafa'at kare hashr mein jo raza ki Shafa'at kare hashr mein jo raza ki Siwa tere kis ko ye kudrat mili hai Siwa tere kis ko ye kudrat mili hai Subhanallah So dear viewers of Adani channel uh, Follow the sunnah of Rasul Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And you shall see the blessings However inshallah uh, The story and the parable which I mentioned earlier With regard to Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wa sallam Firstly before we go any further Remember that majority of the commentators of the Holy Quran Pass Have a unanimous opinion that this event of Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wa sallam belongs to him. This is that event which belongs to him who is the Nabi of the Bani Israel. Now what actually happened of the idea of Yusuf Madani channel, the parable uh, is such in the book called Quranic Wonders, a very beautiful subhanallah book uh, with regards to the parables of the Holy Quran. But the details of this event is that when the wrongdoings of the Bani Israel became excessive, Allah Azza wa Jalla's torment struck them in such a way that a pagan king named Bukht Nasr Babli. This person was a very tyrant king. He was a very unjust man. He attacked Baytul Muqaddas with a huge army and killed 100,000 inhabitants of the city in exile, 100,000 of them into the land of Syria. Furthermore, scattering them here and there, this pagan king also captured the same number of people making all of those people his slaves dear viewers. Allahu Akbar. You can imagine from his actions and his wrongdoings, he would kill people, he would execute them for no reason. Sayyidina Uzair Ali Salatu Waslam was also amongst these prisoners that were captured, that 100,000 people that were captured. And this pagan king went on to destroy the entire city, including Baytul Muqaddas, leaving a totally destroyed the world. Allahu Akbar. And there were many other kings like this in the past year viewers who caused a lot of destruction. Namrud, Firaun. These people caused difficulties to their Nabis and refuted them, refused them, rejected them and did not only reject them. Just like Abu Jahl and many other Kuffar, they inflicted difficulties upon our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These Anbiya alayhi wa sallam for the pleasure of Allah azza wa jalla they do not allow these oppressions to be any sort of obstacles on the path of da'wah. They would continue to make the da'wah of, of this beautiful deen. They would invite people towards righteousness despite the hurdles and obstacles and different types of oppression inflicted upon them. They would not be kept. However, Bukht Nasr or Bukht Nasr, in front of the people of Amalika, his tribe's name was called Amalika, was found unattended next to their idol. And the name of this idol, according to the book, is called Nasr. 
and then me and uh, uh, as the name of the father of the child was unknown people did not know what was the the name of this father because he was found next to this idol so that is why people started calling him with the name of Bukh Nasr meaning son of Nasr since he was found next to the idol the same child was appointed as a governor by a king and eventually he became a majestic king himself later Allahu Akbar however he was a tyrant person he would oppress people he would you know cause difficulties for them after a few days those people that were scattered on the land of Syria here and there those people that were murdered and furthermore those people that were captured from amongst them or oh, amongst them was the Nabi of Allah Sayyidina so when uh, some time had passed he alayhi salatu wasalam somehow set free from the imprisonment of Bukh Nasr and he alayhi salatu wasalam rode a donkey and entered into the city of Bayt al-Muqaddas Allahu Akbar and now dear viewers of Vajri channel upon seeing his city destroyed and desolated his heart became full of sorrow Allahu Akbar he alayhi salatu wasalam began to weep when he saw the condition of his city totally uprooted every single thing was destroyed Ya went all to the four corners of the city but could not find any human being every person was, was finished, was vanished as if they never existed on the face of this earth Ya saw that the trees were full of fruits and were ready to be consumed but there was no one around to pluck these fruits from the trees not a single human being in the entire city all alone Allah Akbar upon seeing this he alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned the, these words from his mouth anna yuhi hadihi allahu ba'da mawtiha how would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring life back to the city when it has been destroyed to this extent Allah Akbar then he alayhi salatu wasalam plucked some fruits and ate them he alayhi salatu wasalam drank the juice of the grapes by squeezing them dear viewers and he even squeezed some of the juice into a bottle into his leather bag furthermore after he done all of this dear viewers of Madani channel he alayhi salatu wasalam tied his donkey with a firm rope and went to sleep under a tree during the state of sleep dear viewers he alayhi salatu wasalam passed away Allah azza wa jalla who is qadir mutlaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is capable to do anything he Azza wa Jalla had caused him to die in his sleep, to pass away in his sleep. And Allah Azza wa Jalla kept him hidden from the eyes of birds, animals, beasts, jinns, and no one could see him, dear viewers. After 70 years, a king from Persia entered this ruined and destroyed city when everything was totally destroyed. Sattar saal guzar chuke the. A king came and when he saw the condition of the city, he began to rebuild and populate the city with his people, Allah Akbar. He brought so many people here and began to rebuild the city with them along with a few of the Bani Israel that were remaining there. And Allahu Akbar who was living, the city was once again, dear viewers of Pandani Channel, beautiful and better than before. It was as if nothing happened. Allahu Akbar. And now, by the passage of time, the city is rebuilt. Log ab wahan rehte hain. Badi badi imaratay khadi ki gayi. Buildings have been built, houses and homes, and people now reside there. It became a flourishing city once again altogether. Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam, who is a Nabi of Allah azza wa jalla, after a hundred years was brought back to life. He alayhi salatu wasalam, when he opened his eyes, he saw his donkey dead. His donkey has died. Allahu Akbar. And his bones are scattered around him. Sayyidina Uzira alayhi salatu wasalam saw that there was nothing that became rotten from his grapes. Even the juice that he extracted from the grapes was fresh. But the bones of his donkey is scattered all around him. Allahu Akbar. Then Sayyidina Uzira alayhi salatu wasalam also noticed that the hair of his beard and the hair of his head that was still black and he was still at the age of 40 years Allah Akbar still at the age of 40 dear viewers of Vazari channel he alayhi salatu wasalam was now pondering to him Ski, what is the majra, what is the matter how, for how long have I slept after pondering out of amazement 
a divine revelation was revealed upon him. Allah Azza wa Jalla asked Hazrat Sayyidina Uzair ala Nabiyyina wa alihi salatu wa salam O Uzair alihi salam How many days have you stayed here? Allahu Akbar How many days have you stayed here? He alihi salatu wa salam replied after thinking for a while that I went to sleep in the morning and it is the time of Asr now. So he replied that perhaps I slept for a day or a little lesser than that. Allah Azza wa Jalla said to Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, O Uzair, no, you stayed here for a hundred years. Now to see my absolute power, to see my kudrat, Allahu Akbar, look at your donkey to how its bones have rotten and scattered away. Allahu Akbar. And look at the food that you have with you, which was referring to the grapes and the juice, which was so fresh. It was not spoiled at all, dear viewers. Allahu Akbar. Allah Azza wa Jalla then said to Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, Now, look at my kudrat and my power, subhanallah. And within no time, Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam then saw that instantly the bones started to move to form the joints of the animal. The joints connected together to form the skeleton of the donkey. Within a fraction of moments, flesh appeared over the bones. The donkey became alive and started to speak in its language. Upon seeing this wonder, Sayyidina Uzzan alayhi salatu wasalam then said, أَعْلَمُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ I know very well that Allah Azza wa Jalla is able to do all things. Subhanallah. Dear viewers of Madhini channel, after the Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam returned to his place where he alayhi salatu wasalam had lived for a hundred years. Yani, so saal guzar chuke hai, so saal ke baad wo dobara apne shihar tashif ya ja rahe hai. He is going back to his city. Nobody could recognize him as he alayhi salatu wasalam could not recognize anybody either. But he alayhi salatu wasalam saw an old and crippled woman sitting near the home who had seen Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam in her childhood. Ab bachpan mein chuke hai, unho ne Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam ki ziyarat ki. Allahu Akbar, she was honored by seeing a Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So he alayhi salatu wasalam asked this old crippled woman, Is this the home of Uzair alayhi salam? The woman replied, Yes. But also asked him, Why was he inquiring and asking about the home of Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam? Allahu Akbar. So, the old lady, when she asked him about this, Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam then said, Well, I am Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam. And Allah Azza wa Jalla has caused me to see for a hundred years. And now I have come and this is my identity. He revealed his identity to her. She replied by saying, Subhanallah, how can you be Uzair? I can never believe this, that it is you who is Uzair alayhi salatu was salam. Allahu Akbar. The old lady said this, Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, then convinced her and said to her, okay, then what proof would you want? to see that I am the Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jalla. The old woman said that I am blind. And Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, du'as are answered. If you are really Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, if you are the Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jalla, then supplicate for my sight to be restored. Allahu Akbar. And I'm also para paralyzed. I am suffering with this paralysis. If you could supplicate for this to also be removed, Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam supplicated for her and she recovered instantly deviated by the dua of a Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jal. When she looked at him, she recognized him after she opened her eyes and she immediately proclaimed, I bear witness that you are Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu was salam. Allahu Akbar. Dear viewers of Madini channel, after saying this, she now has brought Iman and faith upon him. And then she went towards the, the, the bazaar or towards the city where the inhabitants and where the people were. As she passed a place where there was a group of people, coincidentally there were the Bani Israels that were sitting there. Then the Bani Israels now were in the gathering including the son of Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam who was at the age of 118 at that time. Some of his grandsons were also present in the day of viewers of Madani channel. Can you imagine for a moment, Allahu Akbar, that even the grandchildren of Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam are there, but yet he is still black in color in terms of his hair, his beard. Allahu Akbar, his son is older than him. Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam is the age of 40, whereas his son is the age of 118. 
some of his grandchildren that were present there and they had also grown into the old age so the old lady announced loudly witness in the gathering oh people no doubt this person that you see is none other than Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam but Allahu Akbar no one there at that moment accepted the statement of this woman for so no one could believe that this could ever be Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam meanwhile the son of Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam said that my father had a black mole in the middle of his shoulders Allahu Akbar and this mole used to look like a moon Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam said there is not a problem at all Thus, he alayhi salatu wasalam removed his shirt and showed the mole. Then people said, Sayyidina Uzzira alayhi salatu wasalam had memorized the Torah. If you are Uzzira alayhi salam, then recite Torah. He alayhi salatu wasalam immediately recited the entire Torah without any hesitation. How would he hesitate, dear viewers of the channel? Allahu Akbar, he is a Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bukht Nasr killed 40,000 religious scholars of Torah whilst destroying Baytul Muqaddas. This is history. 40,000 religious scholars were executed and were killed, dear viewers of Madani channel, whilst he was destroying Baytul Muqaddas and left no written script of Torah in the world from that time. Now another question arose that whether the recited script was original or not, whether he could recite it by heart or not, because what he recited people could not uh, figure out whether it is true or not because they never knew it is the original script. So one person said that I heard from my father that the day they were arrested by Bukht Nasr, the bad king, 100 years ago, they buried a script of the Torah in the root of a grape tree. If you find a grape tree, then I can take out the script. This person said this and then he was granted permission. Thus he went and he found the script. And after much struggle when they found the script, Allahu Akbar, Hazrat Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam had recited the Torah. Whilst these people heard him recite the Torah without any hesitation and any mistake, subhanallah. Witnessing this amazing and marvelous event that now he has the mole which looks like a moon between his shoulders. Furthermore, he recited the entire Torah and people followed him. It was the truth in his claim that he says, I am the Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Therefore, Allahu Akbar, after saying this dear viewers of Madani channel, they embrace Islam and brought faith upon him. Allahu Akbar. It is amazing dear viewers, this entire parable is in the Holy Quran Pak that even till date, those people around the world are maintaining this corrupt belief that Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam is the son of Allah Azza wa Jalla. However, he is a Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is a Banda of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. So, Sayyidina Uzair alayhi salatu wasalam proven to them in his own way that he is a Nabi of Allah by giving them evidence of what they want to hear. And now listen to the surah of the Holy Quran Pak before we listen to any Madani pearls inshallah azawajal. The translation of which is, O oh, like him who passed by a village and it had fallen flat on its roof. Allahu Akbar. He said, how will Allah bring it back to life? Anna yuhiha After such destruction, how would life be given to these dead people? So Allah Azza kept him dead for a hundred years, then brought him back to life. He said, how long have you stayed here? Asked Allah Azza wa Jal. He, alayhi salam, meaning Uzira alayhi salatu wa salam, replied, I may have stayed here for a day or a little lesser than that. He said, in fact, you have spent a hundred years. No, you think you have stayed here for a day or lesser than that? You have slept here for a hundred years. So look at your food and drink, which do not smell stale till now. And look at your donkey whose bones are scattered. Allahu Akbar and Allah Azza then revived the donkey in order that we may make you a sign for mankind. And look at Allah when Allah uh, revived the donkey to make that a sign and Allah had made him uh, to wake up from his deep sleep of hundred years Allahu Akbar the Allah of the channel which was a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's qudrat and power I know well that Allah is capable to do all things said Uzira alayhi salatu wasalam.
Dear viewers of Adhini channel, we are such amazing lessons to extract from this parable when we speak about the power and uh, the Qudrat of Allah Azza wa Jalla. The Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had been revived after a hundred years and in the manner he was revived. And the things that he said after he was revived is really astonishing. We will discuss this inshallah for now. Listen to this beautiful Madani pearl. Until then, stay tuned with Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The viewers of Madani channel on the day of judgment, where there will be many witnesses at the time of reckoning, the earth will also become a witness and bear testimony. Therefore, it has been mentioned in a hadith that the earth will bear testimony about every good and bad deed committed on it by men and women. It will say that on such and such day, this deed was performed and, and on such and such day, this deed was committed. The earth has memorized all the good and bad deeds that people have done on it. And on the day of judgment, it will openly announce all of these affairs which everyone will listen to. Allah Azza wa Jal has described this topic in the Holy Quran in the following words. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها Translation of the Quran comes with Iman. When the earth is shaken violently with its destined tremor, and the earth casts out all its burdens, and man says, what has happened to it? On that day, the earth will narrate all its news, because your Lord sent a command to it. Dear viewers on Madani channel, on the Day of Judgment, there will be many witnesses to testify the good and bad deeds of the people. The angels present on the shoulders of every person for recording the deeds are absolute witnesses. Besides these, the limbs of the people will also testify to the deeds, meaning a person's hands, feet, eyes, ears, etc. Every limb will testify the act in which that limb had been involved. Moreover, the earth will report every deed committed on its face by the people and it will be a witness in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To summarize, no matter how much a person tries to hide a good or bad deed, it will by no means remain hidden on the day of judgment. Instead, every single deed of a person will be presented before him and he will see all his deeds with his own eyes and he will also be given a return for every deed. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, يَوْمَ إِذِينْ يَصْدُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَى تَلِّي رَوْ أَعْمَالَهُمْ فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى Translation of the Quran, Kanzul Iman. On that day, people will return towards their Lord in different paths in order to be shown their deeds. So whoever does a good deed equal to a weight of an atom will see it. And whoever does an evil deed equal to a weight of an atom will see it. Anyhow, the day of judgment will be extremely tough and every person will be held accountable for even the minor, major, good or bad deed. It is obligatory upon every Muslim to pay attention to every passing moment of his life and whatever he's doing one day will be held accountable for and all those deeds that he is performing secretly will be revealed in front of everyone in the court of Allah how embarrassing and humiliating it will be at that time dear viewers of Madani channel how much humility will we take on the day of judgment if we are caught doing bad deeds. As all the deeds will be presented in front of us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command the angels to give us the book of deeds where we will have to read every single deed in front of everyone. In order to save ourselves from this humility, join Dawat Islami and take the path of Sunnah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.
Subhanallah, Subhanallah. This was our brother who was giving us these Madani pearls with relation to the Day of Judgment. As I said earlier as well, just as a reminder, consistent reminders. Reminders are good for believers. Jitna ham ek dusre ko remind karte rehenge, utna hi acha hoga. The reminder is to do virtuous deeds. So we want to be saved from the humiliation of the Day of Judgment. Being faced to be humiliated on the Day of Judgment, dear viewers of Madani channel, will cause a lot of grief and pain to a person. We rather face that in the world and face some challenges and have sabr over those difficulties in the world. And that is what we must ask Allah for patience, for sabr and istiqamat and steadfastness upon every difficulty. May Allah Azza make this an expiation for our sins on the Day of Judgment. However, dear viewers, Alhamdulillah, this parable which we just heard right now, 100 years Uhira Ali Salatu Waslam slept for, just like Ashab al Kahf, see the power of Allah. Look at the Qudrat of Allah. That Rabb who makes a person sleep for a hundred years and then revive them again. Allahu Akbar. Ashab al Kahf slept for over 300 years, dear viewers. From this event we learn, Allahu Akbar, many beautiful parables. And let's start by saying that Subhanallah, from this, isn't this amazing, dear viewers? There was no change in the blessed body of Uhira alayhi salatu wasalam. It remained the same. Halaki, look at the donkey and look at the bone. Halaki, zamana wahi raha. This is the power of Allah Azza wa Jalla. And furthermore, the ulama have also explained there's a thing called tayyi zaman and tayyi makan. What is tayyi zaman and what is tayyi makan? Listen, dear viewers, Allahu Akbar. Tayyi makan is, or tayyi zaman rather, is when the time frame has been uh, lengthened for a person. Allahu Akbar. This is called tayyi zaman. Like, such a long period had passed, but Allah Azza wa Jalla had shortened it for his khas bandas. In other words, they felt as if it was just a day or lesser than that, whereas the day was very long. That is called Tayyi Zaman. Whereas Tayyi Makan is like, for example, on the night of Mi'raj, when the beloved Rasul Sallallahu traveled for a long journey, long distance, Allahu Akbar, and he returned back. And the worldly uh, intellectual um, and uh, the uh, abilities of a human brain cannot put in uh, this reality that it doesn't make sense but subhanallah it is Allah Azza wa Jalla who has given this ability and this power of Mi'raj the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and if Allah Azza wa Jalla has said he has traveled and taken his beloved Habib then there is no doubt in the power of Allah Azza wa Jalla and he says Subhanallah asara it is Allah Azza wa Jalla glory be to him who had taken his bondsman so from this we learn the views of Madhini channel that Rabb who has taken his creator I mean his that Rabb who has taken his Habib, his beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallama, our Rabb Allah azza wa jalla who has taken his beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Mi'raj is the same creator who has created us. And Allah azza wa jalla makes these things possible from time to time to uh, witness his signs, for us to witness his qudra. May we recite the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For one entire year, a Nabi of Allah azza wa jalla remain in qiyam. As the jinns assume that he is busy in the construction or he is busy in ibadat, for they would see him worshipping Allah for months like that. But for one solid year, his body remained in that state of qiyam, whereas it did not rot. But the termites of the earth were consuming his asa and stick that he was leaning upon. And if the stick was eaten by the termites of the earth, and that could decay and make him come to the ground, but nothing was affected of his body. This shows to us, dear viewers, Inna Allah harrama ala al-ardi an ta'akula aksad al-anbiya fa nabiyu Allahi hayyun yurzaq This is the reality of this hadith that the blessed bodies of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wa salam are alive uh, they do not decay for Allah Zawajalla has forbidden the earth to consume and eat the bodies of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wa salam they are alive and Allah provides rosy for them after seeing such destruction of Baytul Muqaddas Uthir alayhi salatu wasalam then had so much of love for his people and liking for his town that he actually made dua. So we learn from this also that loving your hometown is actually the sunnah of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. If somebody misses his homeland, it is much natural for you have been brought up there, you were in school there, you did business there, so on and so forth. Like the Sahaba Ikram who missed Makkah al Mukarrama a lot. Even after migrating to Madinat al Munawwara, they were found missing Makkah al Mukarrama. Many of them became homesick. And the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jalla then made dua for them. And Allah Azza wa Jalla increased the love of Madinatul Munawwara in their hearts. 
and that subhanallah aaj bhi every aashiq e rasool sallam has connection and devotion even for the city of madinah al munawwara may allah azza wa jalla forgive our sins we have come to the end of our episode today's uh, program contained this beautiful and lightning faith refreshing parable of uzair alayhi salatu wasalam allow this parable to make a change in your life that if allah azza wa jalla could remove and uh, take him out of that sleep after a hundred years why wouldn't Allah Azza wa Jalla through His Rahmah and Mercy remove our calamities away from our lives as well? It can happen, it is possible. Increase your tawakkul and trust in Allah Azza wa Jalla. And today, inshallah, as we do every other day, we leave you reminding the viewers of Madani Channel our maqsad and our mission in this fragrant movement of Quran and Sunnah is that I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. إن شاء الله عز وجل صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الله الله الله